that are happy to do legal observation if there is civil disobedience. They are sort of waiting to find out what the strategy is at the moment. Um, and so Jeff had um, kindly offered and suggested I come by to get a sense a little bit of what the strategy is so that I can share that with them. Um, but they, they are available Friday morning if, um, if uh, either way, if you choose, if there are folks who choose to remain here after the eviction um, with the potential of getting arrested um, and going forward with that, or if, if folks want to go over to City Hall. Um, uh, I, a couple of thoughts about this. Um, I think it would be, if there are folks who are interested, um, actually, let me just ask for a show of hands, who is actually interested in civil disobedience after the eviction? Okay, one, it doesn't matter where, just at all. One, two, show three, about four, six five, hands. six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight hands. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I think three lawyers is probably good for that. Um, uh, probably what would be good is for whoever is interested to meet those lawyers before Friday morning um, so that they have a sense of what your strategy is and you have an opportunity to meet them. Um, I want to clarify they are legal observers, meaning that they're going to make sure that the police handle the arrest and make all of the warnings as they're required to do. They're not going to be legal representatives in any subsequent criminal case. They are essentially witnesses to make sure that everything is handled lawfully, okay? But they're really important <laughs> um, for, for any kind of civil disobedience action. Um, I am happy to open HPRP's offices for that meeting. Uh, I think it's probably best for it to occur one weeknight um, after work because the folks are volunteering and they have other jobs so so I think an evening would work for them so whenever